Do you need to buy a new spark plug? Should you buy a new spark plug because yours is dirty? And should you replace them every year? Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear, I'm JB. Do you need to buy a new spark plug for your snowblower? Well, if the electrodes are worn or the insulator is cracked or chipped, then yes, you should buy a new spark plug. But if you don't see any major flaws with your spark plug and it just appears to be dirty, don't. Do this instead. Let's clean it. First, you're gonna wanna do this on a snowblower that's cool and hasn't run for about 30 to 60 minutes. You're gonna disconnect the spark plug boot. Then you're gonna take a socket wrench and you're gonna remove the spark plug. The size of the socket may vary depending on your model. And out it comes. Now this spark plug isn't too bad. It's not all that dirty. There we go. Let's take this spark plug and get it in our vise. We're calling in our good old friend, Mr. Wilton. How are you, buddy? From here, we're just gonna torch it. I'm gonna turn my torch on and we're gonna cook this baby for about 30 seconds to a minute. We're just gonna heat this baby up until she turns a nice orangey red color. This will burn off any caked on carbon that found its way onto the spark plug. That's looking pretty good. And good, that should do. This spark plug right now is ridiculous ridiculously hot. So I'm not going to touch it for about the next 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to let it cool down. So while you're waiting for this spark plug to cool down, what you could do is go back to the snowblower, clean something up on it, and then come back to it shortly. And to keep this video from waiting with the YouTube algorithm, would you mind hitting that like button? Thank you. Now that this spark plug has cooled off, all I'm going to do is take a wire brush and attack it from all different angles. Here we go. Start brushing away. Attack it from this side, and then from this side, and then maybe this way. I tried to do it in different directions so that way the bristles can get underneath the electrode here on the spark plug. You're gonna keep brushing it like this until you get all that black buildup off of the spark plug. Think of it like brushing your teeth after you just ate a bunch of Oreos. You gotta get all that black stuff out of there. Good, final step, give it a little puff, puff, blow, blow. Let's hit it quick. Good. Now usually when I do this, all that buildup is now gone, but you may still have a dark tinge on that spark plug. That's okay. Some spark plugs might come out super shiny and that's great. Some might just have that dark tinge. Nothing to worry about. She's all done and we're ready to reinstall it. We're gonna thread it back in by hand. Let's take our socket and tighten it down. She's now tight and back in. I'm gonna reconnect the spark plug boot. Good. Let's test the snowblower out and see how she runs. Here we go. Start it right up, it's running smooth. About to drop a truth bomb on you. Truth be told, I have only bought one spark plug in the past 15 years. That's right, one. And the only reason that I had to go out and buy a spark plug was because the string trimmer that I got handed to for free didn't have a spark plug in it, so I had to go buy one. Other than that, every single tune-up I've done, snowblower I flipped, you name it, it got cleaned. I've done this procedure hundreds of times, and every single spark plug only worked better. Doing this simple cleaning procedure allows your snowblower to start up easier and run smoother. Well, how often should you do this procedure? Well, you could do this once a year, or maybe every other year, depending on how much you use your snowblower. It only takes a few minutes to do, and the longest thing that you're waiting on is for the spark plug to actually cool down. By the way, these procedures work really well on every other small engine too. I also did have somebody say to me once, you shouldn't do that because it'll overheat and break. Well, engines get hot, Spark plugs get hot, and I've done this hundreds of times without ever seeing this issue. Well, what does the Craftsman manual call for? It says to check the spark plug once a season or every 25 hours, and to change the spark plug every season or about every 100 hours. Huh? What? So basically they're saying to change it every season. Nope, not spending that money. But it does say in here, if you're planning to reuse the spark plug, to clean it with a wire brush. Now, should you buy a new spark plug every year? In my experience, no. Spark plugs usually run about five to 15 bucks, depending on your model. And if you can clean them like this once in a while, you shouldn't have to buy a new one. I had the same spark plug in my John Deere JX85 for about 20 years. Ran great every season, because I clean the spark plug every once in a while. Well, I'm just gonna buy a new one anyways. You do you, my friend. Call me cheap. You're cheap but I don't like to spend money on something that doesn't need to be replaced. If you were vacuuming your house and your vacuum cleaner was full, are you gonna go buy a brand new one or are you just gonna empty it? And when battery snowblower owners try to make the argument that you have to keep buying spark plugs, you have to keep buying spark plugs every year. Nope. I just have to laugh at them because I haven't bought one in ages. You lose! Good day, sir! 
sure. Now, if you're new to the snowblower world and you've never bought a spark plug before, what you could do is look at your owner's manual and that might have some information on the type of spark plug you should get. Or you could look at the reference number that's on the spark plug itself, match it up at the store and pick up that spark plug. Now, some will say that when the snowblower doesn't start up, it's a spark plug. Nine times out of 10, it's usually not. If you wanna check to see if your spark plug is working, I have right here a spark plug testing tool. I'll have this link down below in the description. They're pretty cheap and they light up if your spark plug and your ignition coil are working properly. I'm gonna take the tester, I'm gonna stick the prong in here like this, and then take the boot, connect that to the spark plug. And then when you pull on it, it should light up, showing that there's a good connection. I'm gonna give it a few light pulls without starting the engine to show you that it lights up. Cool, so that's how it works. Tools like this allow you to rule out the possibility of the spark plug being the problem, and the problem usually lies with the carburetor. I have seen some other tools for cleaning spark plugs. Some blast them with sand, and I've seen little bits of sand get stuck on these. This may work for some, but the torch method that I use is cheap and effective. If you're interested in learning how to properly gap a spark plug the right way, I'll have that video linked down below in the description. For more cool garage gear content, click or tap the screen right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage.